So I'm really excited about this. I've got my dye fluid digital bricks refractometer to use to basically kind of test the sugar inside of the fruits that I have here. Uh, first, I'm going to show you basically everything that it comes with. So it comes with this really nice carrying case that's made out of this really soft felt like material and it comes with a nice little cloth so you can wipe off the screen of your digital uh, bricks refractometer. Now, as you can see, as we'll get close here into the actual device, it's really small and really sleek. I like I haven't pulled off the little plastic covering it because I don't want to have to clean, but basically you use this to test. And what's really cool is that not only does it come with two little, um, you know, like small lanyards to where you can make sure you have a grip on it, but it also comes with two pipettes, which I'm going to use to essentially um, test these fruits that I have. So I have two satsumas that I've harvested and two limes, one that looks, you know, kind of basically really ripe and one that's, you know, a little less dark um, and then it also comes with a nice little USB-C charger to charge it um, so make sure that your device is always charged and then also it comes with this really cool app I haven't paired it yet uh, but I'm going to be pairing it soon so I can uh, so I can then run my tests on these fruit and then show you guys the results so I've got all my respective fruits cut up here. Um, this is the ripe lime, this is the less ripe lime, and then these are my two satsumas in the back. I've already calibrated it. Uh, you just need some clear water um, and you use the pipettes to essentially, um, you know, uh, calibrate it with water. Now I'm going to use the pipettes to test each one. Um, I also have it connected to my app uh, which means that I can show you how to test it from here too, uh, which is pretty cool because you don't have to press the physical button on the actual um, refractometer itself. So first I'm going to start by testing this one over here, which is the less ripe lime. It was the one that was lighter, so I'm going to get some lime juice in here. Go ahead and put it on the top. Make sure that the sensor is completely covered. So for this first test, and then I'm going to squeeze out the excess lime juice and then clean it out in the water so I make sure that it's, um, it's ready to go for the next use. So I'm going to go ahead and do a short press on here. It's going to turn green while it's testing it. And the bricks percentage, as you can see, hold on, let me go ahead and pour, pour it back in there. The bricks percentage, as you can see, is 9.35%. And it even shows you the temperature of the liquid that you placed on there, which I think is cool. So that was the unripe one, or the less ripe one rather. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the little cloth that they gave me, and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the sensor so that it's good to go again. You don't wanna get any contamination from the last one. Make sure it's clean. I'm also going to put some clear water on there. Just, just gonna drop it on there and then wipe it again just to ensure that it's not contaminated for the next test. I'm gonna empty the pipette, make sure it's clear water, go ahead and get some of the more ripe lime, and we're gonna do one more test. Now this time, I'm gonna show you guys the test from the app. So now that the sensor is completely covered with that one, I'm gonna go ahead and empty out the excess and clean my pipette once again. Make sure you clean your pipettes um, because it's very important to ensure the test integrity. It's going to be very important that you do that. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to test it from the app. So since it's already connected, all I have to do is press this blue button right here and you'll see on the actual device down here uh, that once I press this button, it's going to turn um, green. So let me focus the camera so you guys can actually see the screen and then pay attention to the right here because you'll see the actual refractometer turn green when I hit this button. So there you see it's testing it, it's measuring. And this one that's more ripe is 13.45% um, you know, bricks. And so there, there you can see the difference between the less ripe one and the more ripe one, that's about 4% variation um, in the amount of sugar that's in there. Now, what's really cool is both of the oranges that I had earlier to test, I didn't really have a clue as to which one had the higher percentage of sugar in it. So I'm gonna move these lime juices out of the way and the limes themselves too. And now we can focus on the satsumas. So this is, corresponding to you know each one of those 
and I'm going to do a test on those also. So again, I'll do one um, test from the machine and one test from mobile just to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to first start off by cleaning the sensor one more time. Going to take the pipette, put some water, clear water on here just to ensure that I get as much clean out of this as possible. Make sure it's as clean as possible so that there's no failure in the test integrity. And we'll start with the left one. So now that my pipette is cleaned, I'm going to take some of the juice out of here. Go ahead and make sure that I cover the sensor completely. I'm going to empty it out, clean my pipette once again so it's ready to go for the next one. And then let's begin the test. So let me make sure I focus my camera so you guys can see the screen. I'm going to press the button. It's measuring. So this one on the left is 9.5. So I'm going to clean the sensor again. Do my little water. Clean it one more time just to ensure that the sensor is completely clean. And then I'm going to load my pipette with juice from the right side now. Make sure that my sensor is completely covered. And then I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to move it so you can see it in view again. Get my camera to focus. So now we're going to from the app, it still has the data from the last one. I can choose to save it if I want to, but I don't really have to. So again, I'm going to press the button that you'll see, and you'll notice that the green light over here will turn on. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it. So it's testing, and the results are 9.25% bricks. So that means the one on the left is just slightly, a small amount, just slightly more sweet than the one on the right. And I think that this is a really cool meter for basically telling you, you know, how ripe your fruits really are. Um, and, you know, I thought that was really cool. You know, this one was definitely going to, you were going to know that the one that was darker was definitely going to be more ripe than this really light one over here. So that was easy to tell. But with these over here, which were fairly close, it was still super easy um, to test them. And you can see how close they are. Um, and bricks percentage. So if you're looking for an absolutely amazing refractometer to test basically how ripe your fruits are and you know if you need to let them sit a little bit more then definitely check out this really awesome dye fluid refractometer. It's absolutely easy to use, super amazing and just really you know easy to hold, very great app compatibility as you saw and it's awesome that it's rechargeable and comes with a really nice USB-C cord.